When we install Houdini on our computer, that installation includes a version of Python. If I go to the Houdini installation directory, I'll see a folder called Python, and inside that folder, the Python executable. What version of Python is being installed with Houdini? Until recently, we used version 2.7, a version that was released more than 10 years ago. But luckily, SideFX took the leap to Python 3 in the newest version, Houdini 19. So if you are using Houdini 18.5 or earlier, you'll be using Python 2.7. And if you use Houdini 19, you will have Python 3.7. In the intro to Python series, we went to the Python website, downloaded the latest version available and installed it on our computer. This Python that we installed on our own is a standalone Python, not tied to any other program. From the Windows terminal, if I enter the command Python, I'll switch to the Python terminal. But we just saw that Houdini already installed Python on my computer. That means that right now I have two Python installations. The standalone one that I can run directly from the terminal and which I downloaded from the Python website and the Houdini one, which we could say is a private Python that only Houdini can use. Now imagine that I don't have the standalone Python installed on my computer. If I enter the command Python in a terminal, the Microsoft Store will open so that I can download Python from there. But the thing is that my computer does have a Python installation, which is the one that came with Houdini. So why isn't Windows able to find it? Well, because when we install Houdini, that private Python is not added to the path environment variable that we talked about in the Intro to Python series. That's why I can't access that Python from the terminal. But knowing this, I can copy the path where Houdini's Python is stored and add it manually to my system environment variables, more specifically to the path variable. Click on edit, new, and paste the path here. Accept, accept, accept again. <laughs> now open a new terminal, enter Python, and yes! I'm in Python 3.7.4, the same version that Houdini has. Now Houdini's Python will no longer be private and I'll be able to use it both inside Houdini and outside of it. But there is a problem with this. If we go to the Python website, we see that the latest version is 3.10.2, but Houdini 19 uses 3.7.4. If you are obsessed with updates, then yes, you should install the standalone Python. If you don't care about Python minor updates, you can just copy the path to Houdini's Python, add it to your path environment variable and use that same Python. The Python that is installed with Houdini includes a bunch of modules that we can see in the lib folder. These are all the modules included in this Python installation. Let's remember that modules are just .py files with code inside. These are the generic modules of Python, and if we go to the installation folder, then to the Houdini subfolder, and we enter Python 3.7 libs, or if you are using 18.5, it would be Python 2.7. Here we have a specific modules for Houdini. The most important of all these modules is the who, H-O-U, module. Open it with Sublime Text, and you'll see that this module contains a lot of classes and functions that allow us to control Houdini using Python code. This is what we call API or API, Application Programming Interface. Explained in simple terms, an API API is like a translator. Python and Houdini speak two different languages. We know how to speak the Python language, but we have no idea of the Houdini language. If I want to communicate with Houdini, I need someone to translate my words into his language. And that's exactly what this API, the Who module, does. It translates Python code into Houdini's native language.